Hi guys, welcome to Photoshop Dummy. My name's Canal, and this is a new series that I'll be doing. Hopefully, I'm going to put up a video every couple of weeks. Um, just basic things you guys can do in Photoshop and more advanced things. Uh, I did some graphic design when I got out of high school. I uh, went to Tech and got a diploma. Um, haven't done it for a number of years now, so I thought it'd be a great way to get back into things. So today's project, we're going to do a paint splatter text effect. Uh, so what you can see in the, in the, on the screen. Uh, I'm going to insert the template in the comment section, uh, oh, sorry, the description bar below. So you guys can download that and um, edit it and use it any way you like. If you like what you see, I'm going to be doing more videos on this. So could you please subscribe, like, rate, and comment, and all the other things you can do on, on YouTube. All right, let's get started. All right, let's create a new document. I'm going to call it Splatter. The dimensions I'm going to use is 1920 by 1080, which is um, native full HD. Uh, I'm going to make it for a wallpaper. So let's click OK. We've got to set the foreground color to black. And then select the paint bucket tool and make our background black. Like so. Let's create a new layer. Call it Splatter. We're going to make a bunch of uh, uh, paint splatters all over the page now, just, just around the middle. Uh, so let's select our foreground color to be white. Uh, then select the paintbrush tool. And now we have to select our paintbrushes. So we want the splatter brush, which I'll add in the comment section below. So just start making splatters all over the page, just around the middle. Just like so. I'm going to fast forward the next part because this process might take some time. So now that we have our desired paint splatter effect, let's add it out of glow. Right click on the splatter layer, go to blending options, add it out of glow. The pixel size that I'll be using 65, but you can do whatever you want and just make sure you get the a kind of desired effect that we have on the screen. And then lock the layer. Now we want to add some text, so let's create a new layer, call it text. Um, you may want to hide the, the splatter layer just because it's quite bright and you may not be able to see your text. Um, once you have that done, then go ahead and select the text tool, and then select your font size. The font color should be white. Then click in the middle of the screen and type out the desired text you want to use for our project. Then reposition it somewhere in the middle so to cover the middle of the splatter. It make the, you can make the splatter visible and just reposition it that way as well. Um, I'm just gonna adjust it there as well and then go ahead and lock the layer let's duplicate our text layer we're going to be using it later so um, we're going to hide it in the background as well lock it and make it invisible so it doesn't get in the way then click on our text layer and um, go to blending options um, we're going to give our text some color now so click on overlay uh, sorry color overlay and um, select a pinkish purplish color So go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur, click OK to flatten the image. Uh, the pixel size we want is something where the text is blurred a bit, but still visible enough to see, but also has a bit of transparency. So once you've done that, click OK, lock the layer, and now we're just going to duplicate it. Duplicating it makes it brighter and it makes it more visible to see. So create a new layer and uh, call it Swiggle. We're going to draw a swiggly line through our text um, just to give it a grungy look. Uh, we want our color to be black and then choose the paintbrush tool and select a basic brush. And then once we have our basic brushes, we want something with a soft edge and something about 100 pixels. And just draw a swiggly line straight through the text. Uh, once we do that, we want it to blend it in a bit more. So we'll go to Filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur. Oh, I can't see my image. I'm just going to zoom out a bit. And um, 
just choose a pixel size which blends it in a little bit and then click OK and lock the layer. Remember that text that we had earlier on in the piece? We're just going to grab that and make a duplicate of that. Bring it to the top. Unlock it and make it visible. We're going to add a outer and inner glow to that. So blending options, outer, inner glow. The outer glow will be a tiny bit larger than the inner glow. So about 10 pixels if you're using the same dimensions that I am. Click OK and then lock the layer. Create a new layer and call it circles. This is going to be the fun part. We're going to make giant circles all over the page. Uh, so using the same brush we used for the swigging line, um, choose highlighted fluoro colors and just make big circles all over the Photoshop and all over the, um, the splatter paint. Um, we're going to cover all of it. Um, I'm going to speed up the next part so we can uh, hurry the song. Add another Gaussian blur onto the circles. So filter, blur, Gaussian blur. Um, just blur up the circles a little bit so it blends in a little. Uh, click OK and then select the blending layer of the layer to overlay. And this will blend in the circles and give you a real nice highlighted effect. I'm going to create a, another line of text which I'm going to insert just under the shot part of our original text. Um, using the same font and using a smaller font size, I'm just going to place it here right under the shop. Um, you don't have to do this part, but I think it just makes, a, it makes it look a bit better. I'm also going to add a stroke on it, onto it, so blending options, stroke, um, and then place it there. For the final part of the tutorial, we're going to bring in an image and just drag it and put it on the top layer. Just resizes so it fits and covers majority of everything in the picture. Uh, then for blending options, we're going to go and select multiply. This will just blend in the image and uh, give it a very grainy texture feeling to it. Looks more grungy as well. And there you go, we're all done. Thanks for watching, and if you have any suggestions or any comments you want to make, please leave in the comment section below. Thank you for watching again. Bye.